All right, I'm in the car. It's Saturday morning around 11, and we are headed to a place called Manila, or Sunderland, Ontario, which is about an hour and a half to two hours away from Toronto, and we're going to hang out with some monkeys who are orphaned, I guess you could say, and they're hanging out at Storybook Farm Sanctuary, which is a little nice sanctuary for them to live out their lives because they're either like adopted from the exotic pet trade or they're taken from schools and universities where they were like tested on. Um, and anyway, we're gonna find out more of their stories and we're gonna meet them and feed them today and uh, meet the people that run the sanctuary and they invited me to come up to learn more about it. So it's gonna be lots of fun and there's a special monkey there that I'll leave as a surprise for you to find out who's there. He's so famous. He's it's Marcel my... from Friends. It's not Marcel from Friends. <laughs> Storybook. Ooh. I think it's a sloth in there. It looks like a sloth. What's this guy's name? This is the IKEA monkey. Oh, this is Darwin? Yeah, this is Darwin. He's so big. Amazing. <gasps> I think he's so much smaller. Yeah, he was so tiny. Yeah. That's Darwin the Ikea monkey. If he has access inside, he'll still spend a lot of time out here. Yeah. Um, it's just kind of, I think, a matter of us telling him what to do. Oh, that he, he did, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is Nick. Nick invited us to come to Storybook Farm Sanctuary, and you're a volunteer here full time? I am a volunteer, yeah. I'm the volunteer coordinator for the sanctuary. <laughs> Show us around. Yeah, for sure. Bye, Darwin. exactly goes on at Storybook Farm Sanctuary? Uh, well, it's never a dull moment. Yeah. Our typical day-to-day -day involved volunteers coming in and um, cleaning up after the monkeys and feeding them all their various diets and picking up the food and maintaining the area and most importantly providing um, enrichment and interaction opportunities for these guys. So you are one of how many volunteers here? Right now, I'm one of, I'd say probably about 20 dedicated volunteers. We have a few occasionals, but probably a team of 20. And you need more, right? We do need more. <laughs> we can never have enough volunteers. So if someone wants to volunteer, <laughs> like what qualifications are you looking for? A love for animals yeah. and a really good work ethic are probably the top two. What we really need is people who are willing to come here with the understanding that there's not much reward that comes out of doing this. There's no financial reward. Um, there's not much in terms of you get to come here and cuddle with animals at the end no. of the day. The reward that you get from being here is from seeing the progress the monkeys make because of what you're doing for them. That's basically the most important quality to volunteer here is to, to be selfless and um, to do this for the sake of the animals. Yeah. Mr. Happened? Jenkins took my hat. Uh -oh. Hi, buddy. What did you take? Uh -oh. Well, I uh -oh. have to swap or something. Uh-oh, Tracy's. I just forgot. I was like, got too close. I think I, you can get it now. Can we just grab it? Good boy you are. There we go. <laughs> it's probably dirty. It's covered in celery juice. <laughs> He knew, he's smart. He gets the hat and then he gets the treat. You know, our mission overall is, uh, you know, trying to show people through our relationships with these guys that, um, you know, how important monkeys are and, you know, how in need they are. Well, yeah, why does a sanctuary like this need to exist? At this point, Ontario uh, has very uh, relaxed exotic animal laws, and by that I mean no exotic animal yeah. laws. So right now the exotic pet trade is running rampant. There are a number of monkeys in laboratories who are needing to be retired um, from being experimented on. What you're seeing is the luckiest monkeys in the province. Yeah. Um, these are the ones whose, whose circumstances have somehow led them here. At the end of the day, sanctuaries are still captivity, yeah. but our goal is to give them as close to the wild as we possibly can. What's Hi. up? Yeah. <laughs> Are you doing it with me? Or not me, because I'm not touching them. I think she'll do it with you guys. Okay, bye! Oh, you're doing it! There's, there's not a whole lot of alternatives, right. and unfortunately for the monkeys that exist, um, captivity will be their only option. But looking long term, um, if people can start to understand that 
It, we can't keep breeding these animals. Um, there's far too many, and they do truly belong in the wild, as dangerous as the wild is. Um, it's not up to us to take them out of the wild and put them in our homes and put them in unnatural situations. So looking in the long term, you know, we are hopeful there will be a day where we don't have to exist. Or at least be able to arrest people bringing animals into the country from the wild. That's exactly. crazy. <laughs> yeah. Stronger laws would be yeah. awesome. I can't touch you. Oh, you're so cute. You're my favorite one. I know. Okay, <laughs> bye. Yeah, okay. What's my hat again? Yeah. <laughs>